nice funky gown. <laughs> Now let's rewind a little bit. Good morning friends. So today we start our trip to Christchurch for my jaw surgery number one, uh, which is very exciting. Our flight from Whangarei to Christchurch got cancelled um, about four o'clock yesterday, which was a big scramble. So we opted to drive down to Auckland today, yesterday, sorry and fly out this morning. It's now five o'clock and we're about to head to the airport, so I'll see you soon. How good is the view this morning? Um, just finished packing up, had showers, got dressed. We're about to down a coffee and we're gonna head off. rough start to the morning. I'm still fainting and just not feeling very good so we're cheering through the airport which is really handy because at least that way I won't faint. We're just getting some hot chocolate and um, I'm gonna have some breakfast that I pre-packed. And for breakfast we've got coconut milk hot chocolate some diced apple and a liquid IV with a really expensive bottle of water thanks to this guy. Six dollars for a bottle of water. It's ridiculous. And mum was having McDonald's. Mmm, yum. embarrassing but we made it I'm feeling a lot better now that I'm back down at earth level and we're just making our way out of Christchurch Airport to go and grab our bags and then we're gonna hit the road in our rental car we're hoping to go to the cat cafe I really really want to go um, I think that's our first destination should it be yes. yeah I'll give them a call in a minute but it's gonna be awesome made it to the catnap place, catnap cafe, and I am so, so, so excited for this. Um, it's been a stressful, stressful couple of days, and I'm just looking forward to having some good vegan food and some cats. So, not like we haven't got any at home. Yeah, we've got three cats at home, but it doesn't matter. I want to see these cats. So, we're going in at 11, and I'll be sure to take plenty of videos. at the catnap cafe and I'm having an actual blast there are so many cute cats um, some on the floor some over there plenty up in the tower got one two over this way as well got another one to start to dump down Now that the scan's all done, that's for my prosthesis. Prostheses for April, which is exciting. So we discussed 
maybe prostheses, prosthesis, we don't know yet. Um, so all of the consent forms are signed, well, to be signed by tonight. And had my CT scan. And now we're going to head to a mall with directions from some random that we met in the street. So let's see how easy we can get lost. But yeah, we're just going to go to a mall for a little bit. I think then we're going to get some dinner at some point. And hit the hike because I'm friggin' tired. I had a nap before we came to this appointment. We got to the motel and I had a nap. So, I just got back from the mall. We had to cut our mall trip short because I was getting pretty bad. Um, however, I did buy a nice oversized hoodie, which will be nice to wear in hospital. I found the coolest giant plush unicorn that was would have been amazing, but it was $75 and that's ridiculous, even though I would have justified it if I hadn't done it myself, if I'm being honest. But trying to work out how to use the rental car. I'm in quite a significant amount of pain, so we're probably just gonna head back and then work out what to have for dinner, which is a challenge also because there's nowhere around here really that I could do dinner from. So I'll probably just end up having oats and Halo Top because why not? So we've discovered that there are robes and we're being plush and ever so over the top with our robes. <laughs> so excited because it's kind of like the last meal thing before surgery because you know how hungry you get in the morning and if you have an eating disorder you know how hard that is because you've got to not eat food I know that sounds really stupid but not eating food stresses me out just as much as it, it, enjoy, it, it excites me so <laughs> I'm really stressed so I'm going to preload tonight have some food that I actually enjoy eating I've got some popcorn for if I feel snackish around midnight because Oh, I have to stop eating at nine. Never mind, not midnight, nine o'clock. And I've got my dinner. Where the heck? Oh, here. Do you mind? <laughs> For dinner, I've got some of this. It's frozen. I haven't had it before. It's, um, which is kind of a scary thing. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, it's like soft pasta. I checked it. It's pretty, whoa, pretty small. Um, and just veggies I guess it's supposed to have a lot of protein apparently no it doesn't it just it, it just is what it is and then I got some strawberries to chop up and have with my ice cream ice cream and that's pretty much me they'll be me and they'll head to bed so for mine I have this kind of cat sick looking vegan bolognese they call it. Soup pulses. Pasta made from green peas with tomato sauce. Roasted eggplant, pumpkin, lentils, mushrooms, spinach, red capsicum, cauliflower and carrots. The veggies are small enough for me to eat. See, like diced and they're super soft. Well, they will be when I microwave it again because it's still slightly cold. It's actually a really small portion. It looks actually decently sized in this, but it is like the size of my hand. So I will make sure to have something else to eat because I've got to be... I've got surgery tomorrow. My body's going to go through a lot, which is important for me to recognize because normally I wouldn't care about the surgery. I'd just be like, eat as less as possible. Plus, I'd be like, oh, surgery tomorrow. I've got an excuse not to eat, so like, I can lose some weight here. But I know that my body will need fuel to get through the surgery because it's a big thing on your body, like a huge thing on your body. And the, the amount of energy that it must burn through while being under anesthetic and being cut open and like all of the healing processes and all of that sort of stuff, the stress of the surgery, the anxiety that I have in the morning will need fuel. Um, and I can't eat in the morning because surgery rules, you know. So I've got to fuel myself beforehand. So I've got this and I'm going to have some diced strawberries and some popcorn if I'm still hungry. I might just save that for like 9 o'clock and have some popcorn just to top it off. And I'll put it here on top because it's my favourite thing in the world. So, yeah, that'll be me. 
I will eat this soon. Mum's just cooking. We've got another five minutes or so. Those things are heating again, but I will catch you soon. Yeah, um. I am now in bed. I've had dinner, I've brushed my teeth, and I'm all ready for some sleep. It is currently 10 o'clock. So, we're supposed to get a bit of an earlier night, but we actually ended up watching a movie on Sky, which is nice. So, not a super early start tomorrow morning, which is even better. I can wake up a little later. Got to be at the hospital by 9.30, so it's doable. I've officially started fasting now. I was kind of disappointed because my halo top, the freezer in our room isn't working, so we didn't realise, and I went to go and eat my halo top, and it was completely liquid, so I was a bit let down by that, but it still tasted good. I had a little bit of it. Looking forward to tomorrow. Looking forward to just getting it done. I've had so many surgeries in my life that it doesn't really bother me too much having surgery. I spoke with the anaesthetist this afternoon. I've spoken with him throughout the week and then I just finalised our plans this afternoon, so that was good. And we've got everything sorted, all pain plans sorted and everything. Hopefully everything goes well. Um, but I've taken my night meds and I am ready to hit the hay. <laughs> get some good sleep. I might watch a bit of a movie or something to try and get some sleep. Yeah, that's about it. So I will see you bright and early in the morning for surgery day. Good morning everybody. It is surgery day. We are all ready to go. We're jumping in the car heading to the hospital. So oh, it's a bit low. It's actually colder than what we expected. But yeah, I'm just ready to get this done. This time kind of goes very, very slowly. The next hour and a bit. 